What's going on everybody? This is Phil from Millennium Money Games and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to be going over all of our dividend income for the month of March. So sit back, we had a record month, and let's get to the dividends. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do post here at least two times per week. Also, make sure you hit that like button because we did have a record month and dividends. And just show me some love and hit that like button. So starting off on March 1st, we received an Intel dividend from for $39.26 for holding about 107 and a half shares. We received about 36 and a half cents per share. And this did not get reinvested into Intel itself, but it did get reinvested into another stock, SCHD. Continuing on March 1st, we received the dividend from Ford Motor for $15.55 for holding 103.66 shares. This was $0.15 cents per share, and that brings our total for the month of March so far to $54.81. And continuing also on March 1st, we received $67.38 once again from Ford. And this was a special dividend that they offered, which was pretty cool to get. This one was pretty big. And again, that's for holding 103.66 shares. And that brings our total for the month of March to $122.19. And then for the last one on March 1st, March 1st was a great day for dividends for me. We received $26.60 from QYLD for holding 158.98 shares. We received about 16.1673 cents per share. And this also did not get reinvested back into QYLD, but it did get reinvested into SCHD. And that brings our grand total for the month of March so far for $148.79 just on March 1st. So let's go up and then we received from Microsoft the dividend on March 9th for three dollars and forty one cents. We received sixty six sixty eight cents per share for holding just over five shares, and that did get reinvested into Microsoft, and that brings our grand total for the month of March so far to one hundred fifty two dollars and twenty cents. Moving on to March tenth, we received ten dollars and eighty eight cents for holding about 10 shares just over 10 shares of target we received a dollar and eight cents per share and that got reinvested into target and our total for march is 163 dollars and eight cents then moving on to march 15th we received our monthly dividend from realty income for 16 dollars and 55 cents for holding just about 65 shares we received 25, almost 25 and a half cents per share. And Realty Income has been raising their dividend and it is growing for me every single month. That brings our total for the month of March to $179.63. Then we go to just yesterday, March 27th, we received $13.48 from SCHD. And that's for holding about 22.6 shares. We received almost 60 cents per share. And that got reinvested into SCHD, bringing our total for the month of March to $193.11. And then last but not least, today we'll be receiving one more dividend from the month of March for $26.86. Again from QYLD. This is the second one in a row from QYLD this month pretty good there we received that from holding 158.98 shares we received almost 17 cents per share and that brings our grand total of for the month of march to 219 dollars and 97 cents very awesome to see there it is my record for the month for a single month of dividends over 200 dollars which is very awesome to see now let's just take a look and go over the portfolio and just show you a little update on how it's doing. So let's go over to 
hour. Cost basis here sitting at $30,476.28. Market value sitting at $28,525.38. Total return is just about negative nineteen fifty, And that is about negative 6.4%. So, as you can see here for the month of March, pretty awesome. We have over $200, $219.97, as I said. And this was our best month ever and definitely best month year to date. So, this one really just blew out everything out of the water from previous months. And this is awesome to see. And most of it has to be because of the Ford dividend special dividend that we got now let's go over here and that brings our total annual dividend income so far for 2023 to 364 dollars and 78 cents and that is for three months so that is averaging just about 122 dollars every single month so pretty awesome to see there hopefully we can get this going back back up and we can start re or start investing more into this dividend portfolio we are trying to work on our income and bring that up a bit well, now let's just take a look at our diversification so as we see here SCHD has definitely gone up a bit 5.69% we are trying to bring that to 10% and then eventually 15%. We still have Apple as the top one at 18.61%, then Realty Income in number two at just about 14%, which definitely is a bit too high for those. Intel is still way too high at 11%. Hopefully that could go down to about 5% or so, and maybe even eventually 0% if we do wind up selling Intel. QYLD is still a little bit too high in my opinion. I want that to be down to about 5% as well. I would like Microsoft to be up to about 7 to 10%. And everything else is looking pretty good. So let's go to our covered call income. So we did receive $46 in covered call income for the month of March. And that did beat out last month of February. And it brings our total... For the 2023 so far to 169 dollars so let's add that with the amount of dividends we have received so far so we add the 169 let me just do that math real quick do the 169 plus 364.78 we have 533 dollars and 78 cents now we can divide that by our total cost basis of $30,476. And then multiply that by 100. So, so far, we already received for the first three months, not including any capital appreciation or any portfolio gains besides cash flow. We are talking about just covered calls and dividend income. We have received 1.75% on the portfolio in just about three months so pretty awesome to see there it's an extra five hundred dollars or so in income this is passive income and we are going to try to keep that up and see so if you guys did enjoy this video please let me know down in the comments below let me know how much you guys received in dividends for the month of march i would really like to know that we are going to continue pushing out these videos Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys missed it, I do have a investing course that I'm be posting. Part one is already uploaded, so go check that out. Or you could watch that right here. Part one's already up. It has some good information. We're going to add a couple more parts to it. Several. There will be a few parts. Not exactly sure how many until I can get all the information out. It's free. Make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I do post the video. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.